This video is going to introduce you to the best video making equipment for beginners. And at the end of this video, you would understand what equipment to buy and what equipment to avoid. I'm going to be talking about this in three sections. Number one, I'm going to talk about pre-production, production and post-production equipment. These three will make or break your video making. Pre-production. Before you even think of pressing the record button, it is important to first create a video script template. A video script template will either make or break your video. So what is a video script template? A video script template is a document that would help you plan and structure your video production process. For example, the video script that I'm using for this video has a video topic, has a power intro. It also has the problem, the solution, as well as the call to action. Then I then broke that down into A roll, B roll and images, as well as background music. So a document that puts together how you plan, what equipment you use, what A roll and B roll you shoot is what is known as a video script. I'm going to put a link in the description below where you can download a template that you can use as your own video script. Video production. After you've created your video script and you understand what you're going to be recording, the next thing is to consider what type of camera you want to use. You have two options. You can either use your smartphone, I use an iPhone as my B camera, or you can use a DSLR camera. If you're going to be recording with your smartphone, it is very important to have a good tripod. You have two options when it comes to tripod. You can get a tabletop tripod, a small Manfrotto tripod will be good, or you can use a bigger, a bigger tripod. You also need to consider an external microphone. You have the option of using a shotgun microphone if you're going to be recording very close to yourself or a lavalier or wireless microphone if you're going to be recording at a distance. So these basic things are important if you're going to be recording with your phone. You also want to record in 4K. That is my recommendation because the quality is far better than the 1080p. The number two option you have is to record with a DSLR camera. If you're using a DSLR camera, then you want to consider getting good lenses. I use a Sigma 30 millimeter F 1.4, and I also have a Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter F 1.8. The F is the F stop of the lens. That kind of indicates to you the quality of the lens in terms of low light performance. Say for example, if you're gonna take photos at night, you need a very fast lens. You need a lens with a f-stop of 1.2 to at least 1.8. But if you're gonna shoot videos or record during the daytime in bright environments, you can do with a f-stop of 2.8 and upwards. For videos, I recommend getting a Sigma lens because they're far cheaper than the Canon lenses. Post-production video equipment. Firstly, you need a very good computer. If you're gonna be doing any editing whatsoever, you need a very, very good computer. You have the option of a desktop or a laptop. I use a MacBook Pro 2019 edition. So you can look around for computers that have at least a i5 to i7 processor. One thing you need to look at is a very, very good processor. And then you need to look at the storage as well. Make sure that the computer has a very good storage, like very big storage to be able to accommodate large files. Because if you're gonna be editing 4K files and other types of big files, you need a very good storage. But that's not a problem because you also are able to get an external storage. I have a SSD, a Samsung SSD card that is one terabyte. So I store the files while editing on there. And then when I finished 
editing from that um, SSD. Then I have another storage that is five terabytes. Then I store those final files there after I've completed the edits. So you need those two things as external storage for your computer. You also need a very, very good editing software. I use Final Cut Pro because it's an Apple software. And apart from that, it's cheaper because you only pay one, one time. Adobe Premiere is another software that you can use for video editing. I decided not to go for Adobe Premiere because it's a monthly subscription. You just keep paying monthly. So if you're using it for the next five, six years, you're always gonna pay monthly. So from a cost perspective, Final Cut Pro is the best editing software in my opinion. You also need headphones because when you're doing your editing, you want to be able to monitor the audio to make sure that the quality is top notch. And even before you get to the editing stage, you want to monitor the audio on your camera when you're recording. So I use headphones to check the, 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 the quality of the volume before, the quality of the audio before recording, as well as for the editing stage. And another thing you need is a very good storage for all your camera equipment and all your video recording equipment. I recommend getting a good solid backpack. So it's, it's a backpack and it also will protect your video equipment because you store everything in there, you zip it all up, it helps you, it protects your equipment from dust as well as moisture and any other damage that could affect your camera or video making equipment if you just leave them hanging around the house. So finally, you need to really get a backpack, a, a computer bag to, to, to uh, not a computer bag, a camera bag to save all your, to store all your equipment. This is the end of the video. Do click on the subscription button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And the descriptions are also in the link below.